day of the anti-mask law coming into force since the middle of night on Friday. But apparently what's happening this afternoon did not work to the government's expectations. I'm now in Causeway Bay, the iconic bustling commercial center in Hong Kong. But you can see right behind me, there are dozens of protesters still gathering around, chanting slogans and singing songs. And if you look around, though, though the neon lights are still shining and some of the big LED screens are still showing advertisement, almost all of the shops here are closed, including the banks, the jewelry shops, the medical shops, and the water stores. So the, almost the protests cause a perilous to, this, to the whole society. Starting from 2 p.m., two large march uh, began in Hong Kong Island and Kowloon District. The tens of thousands of people uh, mar began marching from here, heading for the Chart Garden near the financial center. It started peacefully, but not long after that, a large scale of violence, vandalism, and arson uh, broke out, and hundreds of, pro uh, hundreds of protesters gathered uh, in front of the government headquarters, throwing bricks and setting fire and setting up bar barricades along the road. Meanwhile, a tragedy still occurred in Kowloon District around 5.30 p.m. in Kowloon District in Xiong Shui Pu. A taxi uh, drove into the protesting crowd, hitting almost hitting one or two protesters. Then the protesters uh, dragged the uh, driver out of the cabin and started kicking and beating him on the ground. The old man in red shirt was almost beaten to death. He was heavily wounded and lost conscious afterwards. Then the firefighters came to his rescue. And the police said on the first day, yesterday, on Saturday, uh, 13 people were arrested according to the anti-mask law. Today, there is still no number released, but I think there will be more people than that.